so we're working on headlights for this. We've got some chunks of pipe. We cut it at the angle that kind of matches the boat. We were already measuring it out, but essentially it'll be something like this, but opposite. So it'll be flush at the boat. This will go in there like that. It'll get welded to the surface. And then in the end of that will be a round LED um, like spotlight. So it should look all right. And if you need to put something underneath it, we can raise it. Like. Well, as far as I can tell, that's like perfect. Okay. Yeah. That's. So I'll get a good dirty tap on that. Okay, do you want it up or anything? Not okay. That I know of. No, I think it looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> I want more. I want four. You want to do four? <laughs> yeah. Should we do four? Yeah. No.
We should recess something else in now. I know. <laughs> Just because this is cool. That's fucking sick. Look at it. Yeah. Here from the front. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks good. Break up. paper template of the window. It's an inch bigger than the cutouts themselves. So we made that, and then we traced that onto our flex sand. And we cut it out. We're just using a jigsaw, it's kind of slow, but it is nice and controlled and turned out really well. We're making some good progress on Warren's boat. We've got the floor going in. We've got the engine hatch. Right now it's folded all the way back out of the way. We've got it all welded up with the storage bin and everything. So we're just gonna screw down the floor, make it a bit nicer to work on. And then we'll uh, finish up all the components back here, send the parts off to powder coat. And hopefully while all that's being done, we can get this boat ready for paint. Because that's what will come next. That's obviously not the real color, but it'll be a purple boat with the plum crazy purple from Mopar. And it should look pretty good. So this boat's getting pretty close to done. We've got the windshield glass and the side windows cut. And uh, they're just in there with a couple hardwares now, but it's pretty much ready for paint at this point. Everything back here is ready to go. We've got it on struts, so it's nice to open. So this week, this one's going to go for paint. It's going to be the World Rally Cross Blue. Then, depending on how the timeline works out, we'll hopefully get this one back. And then the week after that will be that boat's turn. Finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. So we're just adding some pieces here to keep the line from the hood. 
carry through to the dashboard. And then we're going to be cutting the dash out here. And that will match what we've done at the back to keep the lines flowing all the way through the boat. So, you know, it's pretty next level shit. Yeah. <laughs> totally unnecessary, but it'll look sick. <laughs> Wish the owner of this boat would go home. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one side cut, and then we made a template of it. Okay, so we made a template of it. So we used this template and obviously reversed it to trace out this side. We lined up the piece of square pipe, however it needs to go, based on the center line and just kind of eyed it up. And if you look straight down it, you can kind of see the black lines. I don't know if you can in the camera, but you can see that it did, does in fact match that pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that one out and hopefully we're good to go. So we just finished up the headlights. We forgot to film everything. <laughs> there they are welded in. Looking good. In here will be uh, like a square light bar and should look pretty good. So we haven't filmed much of this because it's a lot of like small uninteresting work, but we've got the steering hooked up. We've got reverse, and then we've got throttle. So the throttle was a bit finicky. I'm not sure if you can see in there. But it's got stops and a small bracket. So it's fully adjustable. And then you can either loosen off the set screws so it's like loose and will self return or you tighten them up and have it as a set it and forget it type control. We've also got trim done. A little bit more fine tuning on the bracket itself. But we've got trim set up with a custom electric trim. This actuator moves two inches. The cable only needs to move one and a half, hence the lever mechanism to make it a little bit more complicated. But it works pretty good.
so you can see that. And then obviously everything at the back of the boat's all hooked up. So we needed to make our custom cable holders. Uh, I need a light. So custom cable holders. We used a plumbing fitting and drilled and tapped a piece of uh, 3 8 thick aluminum to be able to get the proper depth to squeeze on the gland. So that's all factory stuff, same with the trim cable. And then the steering cable is an aftermarket long one. There's the trim work in there. So it should have lots of control over that. Cables hooked up to the throttle body for throttle. Everything's sealed up there, so we're getting pretty close with the controls.